For a colonial Viper pilot, there are few sights more concerning than that of an approaching Ceresties class destroyer. The vessel provides the Cylons with their most effective counter to hostile fighter wings, serving as a lethally effective attack ship, able to rapidly navigate a combat zone to surgically eliminate colonial squadrons. At a length of 451 meters, the Ceresties space frame is vaguely wedge-shaped, smaller than even the colonial Manticore class. The result of the destroyer's light frame is an extremely favorable thrust to mass ratio, allowing the Ceresties' powerful sublight engines to maneuver the vessel with great agility. The Ceresties carries an arsenal of point defense weapons, largely centered on the ship's forward hull, and is capable of maintaining a high rate of fire through sustained attacks. When engaging fighters, the destroyer can create a frighteningly dangerous cone of fire, making it extremely difficult for hostile pilots to evade or properly navigate without further exposing themselves to damage. Such fields have been referred to by Viper pilots as bullet hell, and few have managed to escape their boundaries alive. The design of the Ceresties destroyer presents an intriguing development in Cylon military architecture. Where all previous Cylon warships have been the result of commandeering colonial vessels and expanding upon their designs, the Ceresties represents a direct reaction to a tactical problem faced by the Cylons, that of superior colonial fighter craft. Though the destroyer alone presents a serious threat, the implications of its development are far more concerning for the colonial fleet, suggesting that future Cylon designs may evolve to counter almost any colonial strategy. Ceresties destroyers make excellent patrol craft or rapid reaction vessels, but are best employed as outriders in a larger battle group. Their impressive mobility allows them to rush to the defense of friendly vessels, or to perform flanking attacks that would take much longer to complete if attempted by a larger warship. As a specific counter to one of the colonial fleet's most effective and widespread tactics. The Ceresties is seen as a serious threat by the Admiralty. Colonial carrier groups, or other forces heavily reliant on strike craft, are now encouraged to target these destroyers at the earliest opportunity, expending even their most limited munitions to destroy them before they can engage, or simply refusing to launch fighter squadrons until any threatening Ceresties class vessels have been defeated.